Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS2 Lightsaber Effect Tutorial. Now as you can see on the screen already, there's a sample picture of what you may do. Now this is a very simple um, simple tutorial because most of my opinion um, on the internet have been overcomplicated, so I made my own tutorial to make this effect. The clash that you can see I will show in the second tutorial, so that's a little sneak preview. And just to give you a second preview, there you go. I actually spent quite a lot of time working on the colours of that lightsaber, so it blended in well with the background. But you can do that afterwards to make it look as well or as bad as you want, depending on your video. There, we're going to create that. So, the first thing you do is you go over to your layers palette on the right hand side of your screen here. As you can see, they have the background layer, which is your main picture. So we go down here and select Create a New Layer. You need to do that, otherwise the effect you want to do later won't work. OK. Then you zoom in on the lightsaber you want to use. In my case, it's this one here. And then you go over to the left-hand side of your screen and select the line tool which is in the rectangle tools bit any or any of those so you just click it hold it down and select line tool okay now with the line tool you need to make sure for the lightsaber effect it that is best to use weight of 3 pixels that is the should be the default setting and i think best for the lightsaber effect then you click and drag along your sample lightsaber. As you can see, it's just lines. It hasn't actually been filled. That is because it's called a path, which we will fill afterwards. But first, we need to go to the end, because a lightsaber, a lightsaber's tip is not actually square. It's curved. So then we go back over to the line tool and the tools panel, and select the convert point tool which would be in the pen tool bit or any of those. Okay, Then you go over to the end of your lightsaber and select the one point. You should see the two squares appear and that is what you need to do and you need to do that first. Okay, Now before I show you how to curve it I'll show you how to create the fan effect or movement of a lightsaber which, which happens when it's moved in the films. So in the same place as the Convert Point Tool, click on that and select Add Anchor Point Tool. I'll zoom out to show you this properly on the full screen. Now you select the corner, click and drag out to as fan as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on the movement. Okay. First. We'll go back over to the Add Anger Point tool and select again the Convert Point tool. Now, you have your two squares selected, you click on one, okay, and drag to get it curved. Now, you can curve it as much or as little as you like. I think it's best to have it slightly smaller because then it creates a more realistic curve. You do the same to the other point, and there you have it, your dome at the end. Then, you go over to the Layers panel again and select your layer, go into paths at the top here, and you should see the work path which shows that is your lightsaber. And then you fill it with a set foreground color, which should automatically by default be black and white. And you can click this to alternate. You want the front one to be white, okay? Because that's what you'll fill it with. And you go back over and press this button here. Now you can see the lines are still on the edge. So what you do is you have it selected and just press delete to delete the lines. Then layers again. Now as you can see, the lightsaber looks like it's gone up in steps, which is not what we, which we don't want. We want it to be smooth. And you can still see it as we zoom out. So making sure that layer is selected, and this is why it wouldn't have worked if you'd drawn on the background layer. 
because you need to well let me show you it's the easiest way if you select the um you go over to the filter at the top left hand side of your page click filter blur and gaussian blur and as you can see it blurs the whole image which is not what we want okay so cancel that and make sure your layer layer is selected okay and then you do the same thing with filter blur gaussian blur and i set mine at 1 if you stuck with the 3 pixels which i recommended one should be sufficient but you can just alter it um to what you like depending on your lightsaber size and then click okay now that's the basic start and that's the most complicated bit over so well done if you got that that far then you go back over to the layers panel double click or right click and select blending options and this should appear okay <clears throat> Now, by default, nothing is selected, but you want to select Outer Glow, okay? And you click on that, and this should appear. Now, as you can see, the color is yellow, and it does not look that great around the edge of the lightsaber. You can have a yellow lightsaber, but you'll need to fiddle with the effects. So, what I usually do is set it to a nice, vibrant color, like red, which appears, as you can see, easily. Click OK. And now the settings I would use, and I think are the best for this effect, you change the opacity to 100, the range down the bottom here to 100, and then the spread to 10, and the size to 10. Now you can see there that that works like that. You may change your settings to what you like, but if you want to use those settings, which I think are the best for your lightsaber effect, there they are. You can pause and write those down somewhere. And there you have your lightsaber effect. And you do the same thing, you draw it, and there you go. I did it with purple and blue for my friend. And then, as you can see, you'll see this clash for the next tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you use it well for whatever you need it. Okay, thanks.